Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the React JS tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain in React JS how to sorting an array, ascending and descending order with a button elements. Let's check the final output of our application. How to sort an array ascending and descending order. This is the array and I have two button controls. When a user clicks the ascending order, notice we got the numbers in ascending order as well as we are getting the label ascending order. Now when a user clicks the descending order, notice it's a descending order as well as the labels also I am getting ascending order and descending order. When I reload the page, displaying the array numbers, random numbers which we have added in our array. When a user clicks the descending order, it shows descending order. Ascending order, it displays the ascending order. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I'm using Visual Studio Code to create a React.js application. Just for the time saving, I have already created one application called chtml insert and this project I have created in this folder. Now let me expand my project and notice in my project there is a source folder and in this source folder I will create all my components whether it's a class components or functional component I am adding in the source folder. So for this example I am creating one new component which is a JS file. So let's create one new file in the source folder right click the mouse new file and the file name is ascending and descending and dot js and here we got our js file in react js there are two types of components one is functional component and the second one is class component here i'm using creating the class component but before creating a class component we must import the react class from the react library let's add that one first import react from react library after that i'm defining one class called ascdsa which is my class name extends i'm importing extends uh, components react dot component after that at the end of this class i'm export default my component ASC ascending and descending component now here in every class component there are two important methods we must add one is the render method which i want to render inside this render there is a return method this return method will display the output on the browser let's add one do element the do element is a root element of our component why we add the root element when we have more than one html element in our component we must add one root element which is a do container or the empty tags i'm adding one h1 tag how to sort an array array ascending and descending order Order uh, with buttons, with button elements, with uh, button elements in React.js. After that, I'm adding one simple horizontal line. Let's create one array in our class component. About the render method. I am defining one state is equals to inside this state I am adding an array and this array let's give some numbers give some random numbers 34, 9, 2, 10, 55, 100, 22, 0, 8, and and 87 
I have added some numbers into this state. Now let's display this array in our component. For that, I'm adding one uh, h1 tag. Inside this h1 tag, between curly brackets and the expression, this dot state. I want to display the state of numbers. Let's save this file. Save all. We'll check the output. The array is displaying or not, which we have added the numbers is displaying in the in the browser or not. For that, go to view. Uh, before that, we must uh, configure our component in index.js file. Open that one. Notice in the index.js file, at this moment the render is a default component, which is app component. I am deleting this app component and I am adding my newly created component which is ascending and descending as well as we must import our component in the header section. Now let's save this file. Save all. Now it's time to check the output. Go to terminal. I notice in the terminal the path is D column. This is a folder name. This is a folder name. Inside this folder I have project. So let's include the project to this path. Make sure the path is correct before run our application. To run the application, there is a command called npm start enter. And here we got the output of our component. At this moment, we got two headings, one horizontal line, and this is array. And notice here we have not got the commas here. The commas. To add the commas to our array, there is a method called uh, join method. The join method takes a separator as a string. So I'm adding the separator. And between the two numbers, I want to add the comma and space. So join method is the separator of the arrays. Let's save the uh, save this component or file. Now we'll check the output. So you notice here we got commas now. What we'll do is we'll put this everything in the center. Let's add one center tag. Center tag. And I'm closing the center tag after the H1 headers compiled successfully after I save this file. Let's check the new output. And here we got the new output. Everything is in the center of the browser. Now my next target is I will add two buttons, one for the ascending order and the second one is a descending order. When a user clicks the ascending order button, I want to display these random numbers in the ascending order as well as if a user clicks the descending order button, I want to display the numbers in the descending order. So let's add that functionality. First, we'll add two buttons. After the horizontal line, I will add um, a button element. After add, I'm adding one button element and close this button element. And this button name, I'm adding ascending button ascending button button let's give some space and the sp which gives some space between the elements elements and now i'll add one more button instead of adding i'm adding in a new line this is the descending descending button now let's save this file, save all, we'll check the output and here we got the ascending and descending button. What we'll do is let's rename this button instead of ascending button, add ascending order, descending order. Now it looks better. Instead of button, I'm adding ascending and descending order labels. Compile successfully after save this file, we'll check the output. Now 
We require the functionality. When a user clicks the ascending order, I want to display these random numbers in the ascending order as well as the same thing I'm expecting when a user clicks the descending order button, I want to display these numbers in the descending order. So for that, I require the events for this button controls uh, ascending order, ascending order. Now in this method, which is the event for the button control, I want to modify the state ascending order. These numbers I want to display in the ascending order for this event. For that, this dot set state method. Set state method is a hook where we want to modify or update any state values in a class component. We use set state method. This dot set dot I want to add the state numbers numbers dot now let's add sort method and notice the sort method takes two parameters a and b the sorting values the parameters i'm adding a comma b uh, we need to add the function here so i'm creating one more function a comma b a comma b Inside this function, I'm adding the return, the output a minus b. Call uh, something here. We don't require parentheses. Something wrong here. I need one more comma. let's save this file now let's add this ascending order to this button on click event is equals to is a function i'm creating this dot ascending order and also i want to display the message to display the message this dot set state method uh, I'm adding ascending message the message I want to display ascending order ascending order the label and descending order message first and now we need to add this ascending message Above, below the button controls, I'm adding one horizontal line. This dot state dot uh, state dot ascending message. Let's put in the strong tag. Strong tag. That's it. We require the descending message also. Strong this dot state dot descending descending order message strong tag. Here the logic is when a user clicks the ascending order button, this button control ascending order button. I want to display this ascending message which is the ascending order now the same logic for the event um, descending order button event instead of ascending i'm adding descending order this dot substitute and b minus a let's put this return b minus a i want to add a reverse the sorting reverse and this one ascending order message false and descending order message the label is descending order that's it now we need to add this method for on click event for on click event on click 
I'm adding the arrow function this dot descending order that's it I have done the complete coding part let's save this file we'll check the final output I'm reloading the browser let's check the final output of our application how to sort an array ascending and descending order this is the array and I have two button controls when I use a click the ascending order notice we got the numbers in ascending order as well as we are getting the label ascending order now when user clicks the descending order notice it's a descending order as well as the labels also I'm getting ascending order descending order when I reload the page displaying the array numbers random numbers which we have added in our array when a user clicks the descending order it's shown descending order ascending order it displaying the ascending order that's it in this video tutorial i have explained in a simple way how to sort an array ascending and descending order using button controls in a react.js class component thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel catch you in my next video